Hello, welcome to how to solve this radical equation. X is equal to square root of 3x plus square root of 4x. And we need to find all possible values of x. So, let's start by taking square of both sides. x square is equal to square root of 3x plus square root of 4x and we take square of both sides. Next square of x is x square is equal to this square will be cancelled with this square root and here left 3x plus square root of 4x. Next we move this 3x to the left side x square minus 3x is equal to square root of 4x. Now to eliminate this square root we take square of both sides again and according to algebraic identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square this x square minus 3x whole square is equal to x square square minus 2 times x square times 3x plus 3x square is equal to and this square will be cancelled with this square root and at right side left 4x. Next square of x square is x to the power 4 minus 2 times x square times 3x 6x cube plus and square of 3x is 9x square. And we move this 4x to the left side minus 4x is equal to 0. Next you can see that x is common in the whole expression. So, we factor out x. x times in bracket left from here x cube and from here minus 6x square and from here 9x and from here minus 4 is equal to 0. Next x times now because here we have constant term 4. So, we split this negative 6x square this negative 6x square is equal to negative 4x square minus 2x square. We write this x cube as it is x cube and we split this negative 6x square as negative 4x square minus 2x square and because this 9 is not divisible by this 2. So, to make it divisible by this 2 we split this 9x this 9x 9x is equal to 8x plus 1x. So, we split this 9x as plus 8x plus 1x and in the last we write this minus 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Next x times from these two terms x cube minus 4 x square we can factor out x square x square times in bracket left x minus 4 and from these two terms minus 2 x square plus 8 x we can factor out minus 2 x minus 2 x times in bracket left x minus 4 and from these two terms plus x minus 4 we can factor out a plus 1 plus 1 times x minus 4 
is equal to 0. Now you can see that this expression x minus 4 x minus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this expression x minus 4 x times x minus 4 as a common factor and in bracket left this x square this minus 2x and this plus 1 x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this x x is equal to 0 or this expression x minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression x square minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. From here x is equal to 0 this is the first solution this is the first solution and from here x is equal to 4 this is the second solution x is equal to 4. Now, to find other solutions we solve this quadratic equation and this quadratic equation can be solved by factorization because sum of negative 1 and negative 1 is equal to this negative 2 and product of negative 1 and negative 1 is equal to this positive 1. So, we can write this equation as x square minus 1x minus 1x plus 1 is equal to 0. From these two terms we can factor out x, x times in bracket left to x minus 1 and from these two terms minus x plus 1 we can factor out minus 1 minus 1 times in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, you can see that this factor x minus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out x minus 1 from here x minus 1 times in bracket left this x and this minus 1 x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, from here x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this x minus 1 is equal to 0 and from here x is equal to 1 and from here x is equal to 1. So, the third and fourth solution is equal to 1. In the first solution x 1 is equal to 0, x 1 is equal to 0. In the second solution x 2 is equal to 4, x 2 is equal to 4. So, these are the four solutions of this equation and because we have solved a radical equation we must verify these solutions. To verify these solutions, we put these solutions in the original equation. The original equation is x is equal to square root of 3x plus square root of 4x. First, we put the value of x 0 in this equation. 0 is equal to square root of 3 times 0 plus square root of 4 times 0. Next 0 is equal to square root of 3 times 0 0 plus square root of 4 times 0 0 and 0 is equal to square root of 0 plus square root of 0 is 0 and 0 is equal to square root of 0 plus 0 0 and 0 is equal to square root of 0 is 0. You can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side. 
so this solution x is equal to 0 is a valid solution now we check this second one x2 is equal to 4 the value of x 4 is equal to square root of 3 times the value of x4 plus square root of 4 times value of x4. Next, 4 is equal to square root of 3 times 4, 12 plus square root of 4 times 4, 16. Next, 4 is equal to square root of 12 plus square root of 16 is 4. Next, 4 is equal to square root of 12 plus 4, 16 and 4 is equal to square root of 16 is 4. You can see that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So, it is proved that the value of x 4 is correct. Next, we verify these two values x3 and x4 that is 1. Now, we put this value of x3 and x4 that is 1 in the original equation. The original equation is x is equal to square root of 3x plus square root of 4x. The value of x is 1 is equal to square root of 3 times 1 plus square root of 4 times 1 and 1 is equal to square root of 3 times 1 3 plus square root of 4 times 1 4 and 1 is equal to square root of 3 plus square root of 4 is 2 and 1 is equal to square root of 3 plus 2 5 you can see that 1 is not equal to square root of 5. So, these two solutions x3 is equal to 1 will be rejected and this solution x4 is equal to 1 will be rejected. These are not solutions. So, the only solutions to this equation are x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. These solutions will be rejected.